I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, you know, I've always been into repair and recycle. Mostly old tools, but tools in general also. Have you ever heard the phrase, you get what you pay for? I was working down in Goshen and spending a lot of time driving back and forth between Richland and Goshen. So I would take side trips just to try and break the monotony. On one of those little side trips through Goshen, I ran across a garage sale where a guy was selling one of these. It's a knockoff. Uh, Workmate makes a similar type bench. Matter of fact, I've got one right here. It's a Black & Decker Workmate, uh, original Workmate, portable project center and vice. Well, it has a wooden top made out of uh, MDF. This one has a wooden top. I think this one's made from uh, recycled egg cartons because it's not very sturdy. Be that as it may, I broke it. My fault. I knew it was weak. I set something heavy on it. It broke. So now I have to reinforce it and put some glue on it so it'll hold back together again. Because I need it to hold some windows that I'm going to be painting down here in the shop, I thought it was a good time to do the repair. Shouldn't take very long at all. Take some Type Bond 3, which is the kind of glue that I stock because I only want to keep one kind of glue and this does everything. A little more expensive, but having three bottles sitting around, getting old and stale and used up doesn't make any sense so I just buy one more expensive kind and deal with the fallout. I have a plastic drop cloth down there because I'm doing painting so it doesn't bother me a whole lot that I'm dripping. And because there's an almost endless supply of plastic bags coming here from the grocery store I use those to protect the top of the bench while I'm doing gluing filter. the top of the bench back just a little bit. So I get my clamp up there. Then use my old pal the pipe clamp to tighten the top together. And to reinforce it so that I don't have this problem again, I'm going to take a piece of walnut that I have off the scrap pile. Put some glue on the surface. and run a couple of screws into it.
solves that minor problem. Now to prevent the same thing from happening to the other board, which is highly likely because if one is weak, the other one is too. Mark it. Cut it to length. Put another piece of or bead of glue down through the center of that thing to help hold that brace in place. And run some screws down through it. needed to make sure that I had it. So I was clearing the through hole. Because just like the Black & Decker it's seeking to imitate, it has bench dogs in it. And we're right back into working condition. It's not pretty, but it is working. So now I have a functioning bench again. A few minutes with some glue, some old rusty screws that I had laying around, and a couple of pieces of scrap wood, I'm back in business. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.